I'm Callie Lewis. You're watching Geek Brief TV. This is Brief 403 brought to you by Drobo. Take two. One of the things that makes gadget lovers skeptical about companies like Comcast and AT&T is that they restrict our ability to do things that shouldn't be restricted. Comcast got a spanking from the FCC for throttling BitTorrent traffic. One of the complaints about AT&T when the iPhone was released is that they were not allowing tethering. Tethering is when you use your phone as a modem to connect a laptop to the internet. We knew someone could build an app to make it possible, but never imagined Apple would approve it for sale in the App Store. Null River built such an app called it NetShare, submitted it to Apple, and to everyone's surprise, it got approved. It showed up for sale, word began to spread, and then it disappeared from the App Store. Now it's back, but according to iPhone Alley, it's currently only available for download using a direct link. It doesn't show up in iTunes searches. By the time we upload this brief, who knows what the status will be? <laughs> the direct link is in the show notes at www.geekbrief.tv. Let's hope Apple and AT&T do the right thing and let people use it to surf the web. I use and love Gmail. I think that's pretty well known. I love being able to search for a keyword and pull up an email from months ago. Even more, I love being able to have my email automatically sorted into folders, which allows me to answer them in an organized fashion. Every once in a while, Neil tells me he doesn't like having certain emails show up in his inbox. I always suggest he create a filter for those emails, and he always says, I don't know how. So I figured if he doesn't know how, some of you guys might not know either. It's really simple. Here's how it's done. At the top of your Gmail page, click on Settings, then choose Filters. Click on create a new filter now. You have lots of options here. Filter by email address, subject, or phrase. If you don't want to read email from bacon haters, for example, you send email that says, I hate bacon, straight to the trash. When you get to step two, you have more options. I have most of my filters set up to skip the inbox and apply the label. Once you're happy, choose create filter and you're all set. Tech types like me saw the Amazon Kindle, called it ugly, started using it, and fell in love with it. They sold out right away and now seem to be in stock all the time. Amazon has never said how many they're selling, though. TechCrunch has it on good authority that the number is 240,000, which puts the Kindle on track to match the iPod's first year sales. We're now expecting a new version of the Kindle, possibly targeted at the textbook market, to be available later this year. John P. Falcone at Crave got to spend some time with the LG BD300 at a press event in Manhattan Thursday night. The BD300 is a Blu-ray player that includes an application for streaming Netflix movies. Falcone says the player is identical to the Roku Netflix player. I'm just starting to be tempted by Blu-ray, so this player is definitely on the list. The the big downside is the Netflix only has 12,000 titles available for streaming. That compares to 100,000 titles available by mail. I'm kind of expecting the next generation of Apple TV to include Blu-ray though. If it doesn't, this may be my first Blu-ray player. One more, the IEEE approved FireWire 3200. It's up to four times faster than FireWire 800 and will deliver data at a glorious 3.2 gigabits per second. It's going to be awesome on Drobo and other portable hard drive solutions because it moves us closer to better options for dealing with video both in terms of editing and also just watching video stored on a drive. This is great news, but I'd like the IEEE or whoever's responsible for the mini DV connector to really think about a standard that provides more security. Think about an XLR cable. It plugs in and locks. Connecting a FireWire cable to a camera should be done in some manner that locks the cable to the camera. When I was in Chicago, we were shooting a video where I was learning to cook escargot from Dave Teichman, the chef at Bluegrass. The mini DV cable came unplugged and we didn't capture the footage. There should be a better prosumer solution. If you haven't been following me on Twitter, you might not know that we've been doing a weekly live show on Ustream. It's called Cali Live, and I've been talking to people doing interesting things on the web. Sometimes we even shoot Geek Brief Live. You can get the link to my schedule at www www.geekbrief.tv. I'm very excited to have Jeff Smith and Jonathan Davis on the show Wednesday, August 6th at 6 o'clock p.m. Pacific time. Jonathan will be walking us through how he created Jeff's music video for Ones and O's. After our stream, stick around for a Jeff concert. That's always a blast. If you have an issue with my promo code Cali at drobostore.com, try Cali Bundle. It'll give you a $50 discount on a Drobo. I'm Cali Lewis. Thanks for watching. Is our food ready yet or have you not put it in?